dead. I've taken plenty of videos and I have no idea if I can be heard over these waterfalls. <laughs> Sounds like a personal problem. Welcome back to Gab's Abroad. After, goodness, two and a half months of living in Cordoba, I have finally gotten my crap together and am putting together my videos at a slightly faster pace. So, it's time to deliver on my promise to show you epic waterfalls. A testament to my GoPro, you can actually hear me over the noise of the waterfalls, which is pretty impressive, so enjoy. Iguazu Falls, one of the seven natural wonders of the world. We're about to cross off a major bucket list item. We'll be landing in Iguazu in about 30 minutes, so waterfalls to come. I said I didn't give you lines, now's your opportunity. What do you have to say? Um, let's see here. I'm cold all the time. I'm tired all the time. And my Spanglish is pitiful. But other than that, Cordoba has been fantastic. How do you feel about temperatures now? This is comfortable. <laughs> Makes me happy, I can take my pull over off. Loving it. Fantastic. Loving it. Loving it. That's it based on number of hotels in the area. He was expecting a tourist hotspot. Not so much. This is the view from our hotel. It's called the Panoramic Grand Hotel, and yeah, I think it lives up to his name. This is pretty impressive. We're currently aimlessly meandering, trying to find a river. Not a ton of luck so far. But we did get some pretty fantastic pizza, so you know, we're fueled to roam for a little while longer if we don't find it. Here we go. Dad says, here we go. All right, update, we did successfully find a river. That's Brazil. As dad says, we're one illegal swim away from Brazil. How hard can it be? Now look at it, we can swim across that. I've been bad about taking enough pictures recently, but this is pretty hard to ignore. We found our hotel. way up there, which you can't even see on the screen. We got a long climb to get back. I am about as on the edge of Argentina as you can be. We've reached the intersection between Argentina, Paraguay, which is over there, and Brazil, which is over there. And as Dad pointed out, this does not quite meet US tourism standards. This is not a place where you will find 20 million gift shops and I'm pretty happy with the situation. Just stand and enjoy the nature. Also, I was able to stand on the edge of the Rio Grande and throw a rock into Mexico. I think that would be a difficult feat here. Not saying I'm not willing to try. I just don't see it happening. of Iguazu National Park. We were told and read that Brazil is for the panoramic view of the falls. I want to know what this is. I'm trying to just stare and enjoy because I know this isn't going to come across on video or in pictures, but I'm going to give it one heck of a shot.
obstacles that divides Argentina and Brazil. You're not going to be able to see on screen, but you can see the Brazil flag across and yeah, it's mesmerizing to watch. I thought Niagara Falls was pretty cool, but I'm not so sure anymore. This is, this is incredible. I have a death grip on my camera right now. I would have been very bad. <laughs> We started here, walked along this trail, and this is where we picked up the upper trail to get several panoramic views of the falls. Took a train ride up to here, and now we are getting ready to head on a boat to what looks like dangerous territory. So, I'm ready. We're about to get wet. Our stuff is not, since we were basically given a giant rubber garbage bag to put everything in. We were given two, that seemed unnecessary. Mom, this video is for you. Dad took his shoes and socks off in a public boat for the sake of not having to deal with wet shoes the rest of our weekend. Oh, <laughs> 
the coolest thing I've ever done. Oh, oh poor people. <laughs> <laughs> it's Brazil. I wonder if they have dry clothes. Advice for people who want to visit Iguazin Falls. Do the boat tour. It's not optional, it's awesome. You gotta do it. All right, we did that. Two, bring a change of clothes for after the boat tour. We did not do that. A quick shout out to my co-star in this video, my dad who flew all the way from Georgia to come visit and cross off a bucket list item with me. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe below if you want to see more of my adventures in Argentina because trust me, there is tons more to come. I will see y'all later. Ciao!